Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ. Bless. I'm Captain Enoch. Also Amos. This is another segment of 15 Minutes with the Captains. And today we're going to be talking about dealing with deep dummies. Dealing with deep dummies. Listen, we see them all the time. All you Egyptology brothers. All you uh, five percenters. All you brothers. Old Testament only. I don't really. Okay. You deep dummies. The brothers that's into astrology and all this other, the five, what's their brother said? 12 holes in your body. We done dealt with some deep dummies in this, while being in this truth for a long time. So many dumb doctrines out there. We're going to deal with th these brothers. Watch this. Go to Wisdom of Solomon 13, verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. Surely vain are all men by nature. Hold on. The Lord says what? Surely vain are all men by nature. Vain are all men by nature. So guess what? If the, if the scriptures say men are, are vain by nature, imagine dealing with a man who don't believe or understand the Bible. At least we have a guideline that we don't have to think on our own. We can use God's words. A deep dummy, they just go whatever the hell they can they imagine. So vain are they by nature, read. Who are ignorant of God. Who are what? Ignorant of God. They are ignorant of God, read. And could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Read. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. You see that? We teaching you that, we teach you about the Bible, we teach you about the Lord. You can see all the things that's been created and you still try to dispute what we say. But your facts is that you get this. They're not even facts. It's Esau's the, uh, uh, theories, hypotheses. This, those are educated guesses, right? Right. Okay. So there's no facts behind it. All right. Read. But deem either fire or wind or the swift air or the circle of the stars <laughs> or the violent water uh -huh. or the lights of heaven to be the gods which govern the world. It's about na Mother Nature, brother. It's about the 12 holes in your body. We one with the universe, brother. Deep dummies. They're not acknowledging the most high. Read. With whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. They took those things to be gods. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. The Lord of those things. He's much better than that because he created it. It's simple. Read. For the first author of beauty have created the, them. The first author, which is the most high. Read. Have created them. Read. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. That's simple. That's simple. You can look up and see the sun. You look at it too long, you, you, you can mess up your eyesight. It's that powerful. And it's millions of miles, however many miles, thousands, whatever, how many miles away. And it can mess up your eyesight if you look directly in it. The Lord is much more powerful. It said his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. 10,000 times. And he's, you, you want to come to me talking about some dang astrology? About the damn sun. Hey, man, you listen, man, with the sun. See, in the Bible, when they say sun, you think it's talking about Christ, right? Right? But what it's really talking about is the sun. The sun, that's the sun. Read verse 4 again. Verse 4. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. It's about the most high, brother. Not what you, you want. These deep dummies is crazy. Read. For by the greatness and beauty of the creatures, proportionably the maker of them is seen. So just by seeing how beautiful everything is, you can tell that, the, that there's a creator, there's a maker. That's not going to be something that Esau science say, the Big Bang happened. Oh, so the Big Bang happened and everything is perfect. I mean, literally, it's perfect conditions for human life. Any explosion I've ever seen, it was destruction in the wake. Exactly. So, I, so, but this one explosion made everything perfect. Deep dummies. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 12. Y'all listen, man. Y'all gotta stop being deep damn dummies, man. Get out of here with that. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 12. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious. It's gracious. It's, it, it, it's, it's good to be heard. It's something that, that's gonna add value to your life. Read. 
but the lips of a fool will swallow him up. Swallow up himself. It will swallow up. You're going to destroy your own self. These deep dummies are going to be responsible for killing themselves. Read. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness. No, wait, read it again. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness. Uh huh. And the end of his thought is mischievous madness. He's telling you what it is when you run into a deep dummy. That's why we don't give him no place, not for an hour. You come with that doctor, we don't give a damn what you're talking about because we know you're dumb as hell. And it's foolish. Read verse 14. Verse 14. Read. A fool also is full of words. He's what? Full of words. How many times we've been in camp and that's all they got is words? They don't never have no scripture. It's just always talking. Etymology. Yeah, etymology. Hey, man, listen. That word, when you add it to the Greek with the Latin, and then you made it with the blue letter, then jump over two bridges, then you'll understand what that word means, brother. Read verse 14 again. Verse 14. Read. A fool also is full of words. Uh -huh. A man cannot tell what shall be <laughs> and what shall be after him. Who can tell him? He don't have no damn answers. He's a deep dummy. Go to Job 40. Let's start at verse 1. He's deep. Listen, man. I see him. I don't listen. Ah, go on somewhere, brother. We trying to teach our people. Job chapter 40, verse 1. Job chapter 40, verse 1. Read. Moreover, the Lord answered Job and said, Shall he that contendeth with the Almighty instruct him? You're going to gonna try to contend with the Lord? You're going to instruct God on what he's doing? Read. He that reproved God, let him answer it. Read. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Read. Behold, I am vile. He said, I'm vile, God. Read. What shall I answer thee? What, what am I going to say to you? You're the Lord. Read. I will lay my hand upon my mouth. Wait a second. Job said he's going to do what? Lay my hand upon my mouth. Deep dummies don't understand that. They don't want to lay their hand over their mouth. They want to keep spewing Nonsense, like we just read in uh, what was that, Ecclesiastes ten? They don't want to. They just want to talk crazy. Go to Sirach three, verse twenty one. Let's see what the Lord says about these deep dummies. Always trying to find. I know more. It ain't just in the Bible, brother. It's about more than the Bible, brother. I know things beyond the Bible. Oh, you do? Okay. How do we get here? Uh, uh, how do our people get here? Listen, brother. If you add the stars with the stripes on the flag. Then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay, give me Sirach 3, verse 21. Watch this. Sirach chapter 3, verse 21. Read. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. The Bible said, don't seek out things that's above your strength, you deep dummies. Read. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Read. But what is commanded thee? What's commanded is the commandments, the laws. Read. Think thereupon with reverence. Read. For it is not needful. For thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. So deep dumb is you don't even have to worry about those things. Mm. All you got to do is just worry about the laws and you'll be straight. All those things you're looking for, the answers you're looking for, God will give them to you. But he's not going to give it to you in your ignorance. Don't worry about the things too high for you. High for, for you. Read. Verse 23. Read. Be not curious in unnecessary matters. It's unnecessary to tell me about the 12 holes in your body, which is nonsense. It's not true. It's unnecessary. Read. For many things are showed unto thee that men understand. A lot, look, just knowing that you're an Israelite is more than, what, 95% of the world? That's enough. Read. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. That's the definition of the deep dummy right there. A vain ass opinion. They're deceived by their own opinion. Read. And an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. You think we're trying to destroy you, so now you coming at us sideways. Sam, what well, we saying is wrong. You're a deep dummy. Go to uh, 1 Peter 2 and 2. This is what you should be looking for. I really do hope you, you deep dummies pay attention. 1 Peter 2, verse 2. This is what you should be seeking. This is what's going to give you that knowledge that you're looking for. Ironically, you're scoffing against the thing that's actually going to help you. Read. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Read. As newborn babes. As what? Newborn babes. You know what's hard about the deep dummy in that? Because as a newborn babe, that means you got to humble yourself. It's hard for a deep dummy. Read. Desire the sincere milk of the word. Desire the laws. Read. That they may grow thereby. That you can learn and grow and get understanding. Right? Now, drop that. Uh, Yeah, drop that. Get me Hebrews 5 and 12. 
Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. Deep dummies. Huh. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 12. For, for when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, Read. and are become as such have need of milk and not of strong meat. You need, it says milk and not strong meat. Stop trying to figure out all the answers. Just focus on the laws is what it's saying. Read. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. Man, that's a deep dummy. They're unskillful, period. Read. For he is a babe. He's a what? A babe. So humble down. Read. But strong meat belongeth unto them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. A person with experience in God's laws. That's the person that's going to deal with the meat. Not a deep dummy who don't even wear fringes, who don't even understand the concept of fringes. You're not going to tell us nothing. You're just dumb as hell. That's it. Give me Isaiah 28 verse 9. Let's try to read a little quicker. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? Read. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Read. Them that are weaned, by the, weaned from the milk. That are weaned from the milk. Well, we read about 1 Peter 2 and 2. Hebrews 5, read. And drawn from the breast. Uh -huh. For precept must be upon precept. So he gave you a, re a way to actually understand his word. The sad thing is the deep dummy will read that and still don't get it. It'll go over their head because they are deep dummies. Read. Precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line. Uh -huh. Here a little and there a little. Here a little and there a little. Now go to Ecclesiastes 5. Ecclesiastes 5. Go here a little and there a little. So you deep dummies, you need to just be quiet. Nobody wants to listen to nothing you're talking about. Because it's nonsense. Ecclesiastes 5, start at verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. Read. Keep thy foot. Deep dummy, shut the hell up. Read. When thou goest to the house of God, uh -huh. and be more ready to hear. Be more ready to what? To hear uh -huh. than to give the sacrifice of fools. We don't want to hear your sacrifice. We don't. We actually have a job to do. We're trying to wake up our people. Get the hell out the way. Or, or, shut the hell up. Read. For they consider not that they do evil. They don't even realize they're doing wickedness. Read. Be not rash with thy mouth. Don't be what? Be not rash with thy mouth. Uh -huh. And let not thine heart be hasty uh -huh. to utter anything before God. Watch your mouth. Read. For God is in heaven and thou art upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Just shut up. It's very simple. Go to Sirach 20 verse 5. This is easy, simple stuff. Easy, simple stuff. But the deep dummy, he won't get it. He won't get it. Sirach 20, verse 5. Sirach chapter 20, verse 5. Read. There is one that keepeth silence, and is found wise. So wait a second. Just by being quiet, you can be seen as a brother with some type of understanding. Read. And another, by much babbling, becometh hateful. He, be be he becomes what? Hateful. Can't nobody stand when you're around. Because you always got some old deep nonsense to say. Read. Some man holdeth his tongue, uh -huh. because he hath not to answer. Uh-huh. And son, keep him silence, knowing his time. Knowing when it's time to speak. That's, that takes wisdom to know when it's time to speak. Read. A wise man will hold his tongue. A wise man will do what? Hold his tongue. Read. Till he see opportunity. Till it's time for him to speak. But a babbler and a fool will regard no time. We're teaching to people on the street, and you got something to say. You ain't never went to no corner and talked and said nothing. But when you see us, now that's your time. You don't regard that time. I don't care what they're talking about. I'm a deep dummy. They got to listen to my knowledge. Well, go to your corner and speak that nonsense and see who, how many people follow it. It's just going to be you. And you know that. That's why you try to come to where we at with our crowds and try to take our people. But they're not listening to you. You're a fool. You're just talking. Read. Did you finish verse 8? No, sir. Read. He that useth many words shall be abhorred. Shall be hated. And he that maketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. You see that deep dummy? There's no, literally, there's no way for you to, uh, there's no uh, 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 benefit to what you're doing. There's literally nothing there. Go to Proverbs 10, verse 8. There's nothing there for you. Proverbs 10 and 8. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 8. So all you have to do is just read. The wise in heart will receive commandments. Read it again. The wise in heart 
will receive commandments. The wise are going to receive the commandments, read. But a prating fool shall fall. But a fool, they're going to disregard everything we're talking about. I don't want to hear that. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay. Go to 1 Corinthians 1, verse 19. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 19. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19. Read. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Read. He's going to bring to nothing that deep dummy nonsense. Read. Where is the wise? Uh-huh. Where is the scribe? Uh-huh. Where is the disputer of this world? Read. Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? And it's, and it's crazy that, that, that it said that because we just read earlier where he talked about the sun, the moon, the stars, and how much greater the Lord is that created it, created those things. It's insane that just that verse alone proves the wisdom of the world is nonsense because they all treat those things as if they're their own entity and do their own thing. No, there, there's a creator there, and the Bible already told it. So he's already destroying the wisdom of this world because they tell you about astrology and how Jupiter might affect your mood today. Are you, what? Read. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom, by the world's wisdom, knew not God. They didn't know God. Read. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching uh-huh. to save them that believe. Hey, guess what, deep dummy? What we're doing is actually pleasing to God. You look at it as foolish, but we're literally going to save the nation of Israel by just going to the streets and teaching the word of God. It's that simple. A deep dummy can't get like, what? Is, what's the secret? I just told you. It's, we're going to save literally our nation by just preaching the word of God on these corners. And you trying to figure out the 12 holes in your body are going to burn. You and your 12 holes are going to burn. Hmm. All right, go to Sirach 5 and 12. Sirach 5 and verse 12. Sirach chapter 5, verse 12. Read. If thou hast understanding, answer thy neighbor. If you have understanding, answer your neighbor. Read. If not, Lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Deep dummy, you never know an answer. You never even have facts. Give me Isaiah 41, verse 21. Make, uh, yeah, Isaiah 41, verse 21, real quick. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. Read. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Uh-huh. Bring forth your strong reasons, uh-huh. saith the king of Jacob. Read. Let them, let them bring them forth uh-huh. and show us what shall happen. Guess what? You can't do it. That's why you need to just shut up. Read. Let them show the former things, uh-huh. what they be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them, or declare us things for to come. They can't do it. Deep dummies, you can't do it. Read. Show the things that are to come uh-huh. hereafter, that we may be that we may know that ye are gods. Yea, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold. Ye are of nothing, and your work of not. An abomination is he that chooses of you. That's why we say just be quiet, because you're an abomination to the Most High. Give me Sirach chapter 32, verse 8, real quick. Sirach 32, verse 8. Sirach chapter 32, in verse 8. Read. Let thy speech be short. Let your what? Let your what? Speech be short. Deep dummies, be quiet. Read. Comprehending much in few words. Uh huh. Be as one that knoweth much, that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. You'll know, but you just be quiet. Read. If thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. That's the problem, your pride. You feel like you got to say something. These brothers actually making a change in the community. I can do it too. Yeah, you can if you repent and shut the hell up. Read. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. Last scripture, Sirach 21 verse 18. Start at 17. Sirach, chapter 21, verse 17. Read. They inquire at the mouth of the wise uh-huh. man in the congregation. They go to the wise man. Read. And they shall ponder his ponder his words in their heart. They're going to think about what he said because it's wisdom involved. Read. As, a house, house, as is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. Wisdom to a fool is going to be destroyed. Read. And the knowledge of the unwise is as taught without sense. <laughs> It's nonsense. When you're talking, you deep dummies, it's nonsense according to thus saith the Lord. So, deep dummies, shut the hell up. With that, we're going to say shalom. shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.